okay, we were going to tell our friends at the Nutball News that uh, we actually had a visit uh, one time many years ago from the Alistair Crowley. Um, he um, rode around in the back of my mind, uh, you know, in those old-fashioned cars from like the 1940s, um, they had the thing called the rumble seat. It was like in the trunk, and there was an extra seat back there. And that's what Aleister Crowley brought to my mind, the feeling of um, him being in the back seat, but it was a rumble seat, and I was driving my car. And he was back there, but it wasn't in the back of my car, he was in the back of my mind. And he appeared to me as a elderly gentleman, um, uh, and um, he had um, tea out of a teacup with a, you know, it was like porcelain, a teacup and um, a saucer, and he had tea, and then he fell asleep in the back of my head. He didn't teach me anything. Um... If he told me anything at all, it was just banal. It was just, you know, making small talk. Do I um, do what I wilt? Uncle Alec? I call him Uncle Alec. I mean, all of the, the, the cosmic characters call Aleister Crowley Uncle Alec because he came and visited me, and clearly he's far older than I am, so you got to call him Uncle or something. So he's Uncle Alec, and then it was just one time we saw that one of his short-form names was Alec, and that's what we like, so he's Uncle Alec to us. And um, um, the one time he came, and that was just the one time. He was there for a good long day. I took him on a tour of the countryside. If you look at pictures of Aleister Crowley, you know, look him up on Google or um, Duck, Duck, Duck or something, and um, look for pictures of him. And if you see pictures of him when he was younger and he had his hair, he was strikingly handsome. He was so good looking, and with his magnetic personality, um, he could charm anyone into bed with him. Anyone could be a low um, a low woman you know like a street prostitute someone like that or it could have been one of the queen's relatives in the aristocracy did he have orgies with I don't know did he do sex magic I don't know I wasn't there I don't know how am I going to tell you was he a bisexual? Uh, reputedly. But it's just talk. But, you know, in those days, um, you know, like the 1920s, maybe? The Roaring Twenties. I mean, I guess anything went in those days. And, you know, if you watch Downton Abbey, you know that back in those days, there were, um, you know, like queer people. Um, if you're interested in anything to do with lemons... Uh, you know, there's nothing better than to get one of those little sweets. It's like wrapped in paper, wax paper, and it's um, like a very strong lemon. It's not really a gumdrop, because gumdrops, aren't they soft, like jelly with like sugar on the outside, and that could be a good lemon flavor. But these are hard candies. Hard candies. Stay tuned, because tomorrow we're going to have to start understanding more things about can't say who the person is or who he's working for, but um, no, we're not going to bring you back to any place in particular in today's trip other than the Continental, which is an old-school train, and you could go on a transcontinental railway trip 
uh, which would be across the whole continent, the transcontinental. Short form is the continental, which is the breakfast that you get if it's donuts, coffee, and orange juice.